this isn't gonna work. Much better. So I was racking my brain trying to come up with an idea for my first cigar, my first official Cigar Titan video, and thought long and hard, what could I do, what could I do, and it just wasn't coming to me. Uh, and so I was laying in bed last night, and I had a thought, maybe I'd just start off by doing the top five reasons why I started smoking cigars. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, Cigar Titan here, and today we're going to be talking about the top five reasons why I smoke cigars. But before we get started, I think we need to have a cigar. Looks like today we're going to be smoking a Great Cliff. So the number five reason why I got started or got into cigars uh, really goes back to the relationship I have with my brother. Uh, some 20 years ago now, 21 years ago, uh, in an, you know, it was around the time of his birthday, he had just turned 18. Uh, we were looking for a way to celebrate his birthday and so uh, I, on a whim, looking for, you know, me being the procrastinator that I am, looking for a last minute birthday gift to give to my brother, stopped by a local gas station and picked up a five pack of the President's cigars. Um, those are machine made cigars, not hand rolled cigars. And needless to say, um, some fine quality that comes out of those. Uh, so I gave those to my brother on his 18th birthday as an 18th birthday gift and we smoked those uh, for the night not knowing any better you know and that really kind of kicked off my cigar journey. Uh, fast forward back to or rather uh, up to 2013 and my brother was just coming back in to the states from Italy. He had spent the last five years out in Italy uh, with his wife and uh, had come back out here and stayed with me for about a year. Uh, when he came back from Italy, he actually brought back a box of Cuban cigars uh, and asked me if I wanted to try some. It had been several years since I had had any cigars. I had just kind of given up smoking at that point altogether and he you know, inquired if I'd be interested in trying one of the Cuban cigars that he had brought back from Italy. Uh, I was excited and said, yeah, you know, I'd love to try one of these cigars out. And uh, we sat in my backyard for the rest of the night, you know, drinking and having uh, a couple of these Cuban cigars that he brought back. And it was really that experience that reignited my passion with cigars. Um, after we smoked through that entire box, uh, we decided to go down to our local cigar shop and talk to the cigar keep over there to see if there were any other cigars that they would recommend. Um, and he actually pushed us over uh, to the Arturo Fuente line. And that's really, you know, where I have to say, like, I fell in love with cigars. Um, I've been smoking now, you know, uh, pretty regularly since 2013. I probably go through five or six cigars a week, depends, you know, on my schedule. But that was really what kicked off that or reignited that passion rather for cigars. My number four reason for smoking cigars. I find that it relaxes the mind, body, and soul. Uh, I work a pretty hectic schedule and I travel quite frequently for work. Um, so when I'm on the road, it's very difficult for me to get some personal time in to actually sit down and enjoy a cigar. So when I'm not on the road and I get to spend, you know, maybe a week at home traveling locally, 
Um, that's really when I take advantage of that personal me time and just sit back, relax, and enjoy a cigar. Um, cigars are really different than anything else on the market. It, they're not comparable to you know, cigarettes or um, vape pens or things of that nature. You know, a cigar, when you're having a cigar, it requires a time commitment. Uh, cigars can take anywhere between 45 minutes on average to sometimes two hours and beyond, depending on the size uh, of the stogie that you're smoking, you know, how you smoke, how frequently you puff on a cigar, all those things can play a factor in just how long a cigar will last. Um, but it requires a time commitment and I find that, you know, especially when I'm at home and I'm not on the road and I'm having a cigar, that's time I'm making for myself. That's time I'm setting aside where I don't worry about anything else. I usually sit in my backyard or I sit in my stogie den and I sit there and enjoy a cigar. Um, you know, I may reflect on the day, I may actually get a little bit of work done on the laptop in between, but that's time for me. Um, that's time I've set aside just to enjoy a cigar, and that's something that I value very much. I ash these a little more frequently just because I think, and I haven't checked, but uh, I'm pretty sure this, this particular Grey Cliff uh, is a mixed filler cigar, so, um, or short filler. So it tends to fall off, it, the ash doesn't hold on quite as long and I don't want to be wearing a lot of ash in my lap right now, so I do, I do ash these quite frequently. The number three reason why I love cigars. I absolutely love the cigar community. I cannot emphasize that enough. I love going to these cigar events, I love going down to my local cigar. Um, lounge or shop and just relaxing and getting a chance to interact with other people who share the same passion as we do. Um, the thing that I find the most interesting, you know, when I go to a cigar lounge or I go to a cigar shop is just the type of folks that you get the opportunity to interact with. Um, you could be sitting next to a CEO, you could be sitting next to a janitor, it, you really never know, um, but one thing you do know for sure is that everybody shares the same passion for cigars. And what I love about the cigar community is its ability to just bring people together, bring people together from all walks of life, all different backgrounds into one place to enjoy these marvelous creations. Um, it's a great time to get out, interact, unwind a little bit, and decompress. Uh, with people who are out there enjoying the same thing you are. I can't recommend this enough. If you get a chance to go to a cigar event or you get a chance to go down to your local cigar shop or your local cigar lounge, I would highly encourage you to take advantage of things like that. Um, it's really a place to get away, relax, you know, and just kind of be yourself, meet different people, interact you know with uh, different folks i apologize for the plane overhead uh, but i absolutely love the cigar community i think they're great and i look forward to meeting new people as time goes on the number two reason why i smoke cigars i approach cigars the same way a wine connoisseur approaches wine um, i love the taste the smell the aroma of the cigars I love trying different sticks, picking out different flavor profiles from cigars, and really just learning what it is that I like most out of cigars. Um, I like getting, you know, surprised by a cigar, you know, going into a cigar and getting flavors out of a cigar that I wouldn't have expected. Um, cigars are definitely an acquired taste. Um, it's not for everybody, and I realize that. Uh, but if you're on the fence on whether or not you think you should try a cigar, uh, I would definitely recommend trying a cigar, you know, going down to your local cigar shop and asking for something, you know, um, that maybe suits your flavor profile. Uh, if you're asking for recommendations, I would definitely, you know, start off with something lighter, less full bodied until you develop a palate for the cigar. Um, you definitely don't want something with a lot of hero in it. Um, if you're not used to that nicotine uh, that you get uh, from cigars, that could be, you know, that could knock you on your butt 
and could be quite heavy for a first time cigar smoker. But if you're on the fence about it, thinking about doing it, I absolutely would highly recommend it. Give it time. You don't always love your first cigar. You know, find something that works for you and stick with it. And the number one reason why I smoke cigars, quite honestly, is because I can. Uh, I enjoy cigars. Again, I do this for me. I don't do it for anybody else. It's one of those things where, you know, some people like it, some people don't. I really don't care. Um, this is something that, you know, I've built relationships on. I've, you know, uh, created memories while enjoying cigars. And this is just something that I feel very, very passionately about. Like I said, you know, all of those things leading up to this point, you know, really just make the cigar experience what it is. And that's really what I love and enjoy about that. And I do it for me. So at the end of the day, my number one reason why I smoke cigars, it's because I do it for me, I enjoy it, and because I can. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me in the Stogie Den tonight. Uh, there will be more videos to come. Please comment down below, like, subscribe, and let me know what you would like to see in the future. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye.